Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hi. <laughs> I am literally so excited for this video today. You have no clue. So today is episode number two of a little series on my channel that I call Face Match. In Face Match is all about one face, my face, two artists, and a challenge. In Face Match, I wanna experiment the artistic choices an artist makes when coming up with their looks. You know, I kinda wanna see what's going on in someone's head before they have an idea, before like they come up with the look. Like what is their game? What are they coming up with? And in Face Match, I wanna compare my mind with my guest. And it shows you a different world as to what I would always do, because you're on my channel and you always see what I do. It it, it, it gives you options to a certain look or vibe. So in today's video, I'll be trying out this year's Kylie Cosmetics Valentine's Collection. This collection contains one full eyeshadow palette, three different lip kits, a blush, and a glitter eyes, ooh. The only thing I saw, of course, was the package and pictures online. I haven't dipped in, I haven't done anything with it, and today is my first time trying all of this out. And it's not just my first time actually diving into this collection, it is also the first time for Abby, Abby Roberts, and Abby is today's special guest. If you don't know who Abby is, she is legitimately, I think, the most skilled artist out there. There's makeup artists and there's artists. And Abby is like at that top, at that very lonely top, like whatever she creates, it's a banger. Whatever she comes up with is so, perfectly executed, so incredibly done. And to tell you that I am so honored that she is here with me today is an understatement because this lady right here is going far and high. Watch my words, she is the next Supreme. <laughs> Abby has that ability to take a look, to take a concept and make it completely and truly her own. Her Burt Box look was iconic. Her Bratz look, iconic. Pretty much every look she does, I Iconic. So of course we need a challenge. So the challenge for today is to create a Valentine's Day look artistically and creatively using the full Kylie collection. We don't have to use every single shade, but we do have to use mainly this collection so that you guys at home see exactly what this collection is like. And so without any further ado, I am so, so excited to show you what Abby has in store for you. Abby Roberts, aka Abby Roberts Artistry on Instagram. I am a 17 year old makeup artist from Leeds in England. I started getting into makeup when I was 11 years old. I posted my first makeup tutorial on YouTube and I've been doing it as a career for the past two years, mainly based on Instagram and it's just been blowing up like crazy. <laughs> I'm known for my crazy creative looks and always drawing weird things on my face and using tons and tons of colour. Today, we're playing with this! Here is the new Kylie Valentine's palette, which we're gonna be using today. For my plan, I'm gonna be doing one of my really creative looks today. We're gonna have some pink in the crease and coming into the outer corner. And then on the outer corner, I'm gonna fade into this peachy ready colour. On the cheeks I'm going to be having some pink contour with this shade coming down here and then over the top of that I'm going to be having some white clouds and possibly a little cupid to fit with the Valentine's theme today. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> you are creating art mm -hmm. like always. We will try. <laughs> She said, try. <laughs> Don't even, like, with your try, you're gonna nail this. So you're going in with, ooh, this is really cool. This is the Ordinary Foundation. I am in the same color as Abby. We are twinsies. We're at 1.1. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. When you said serum, I was like, that's gonna be sheer. <laughs> no, 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 we don't do sheer. And you said this is affordable? Yeah, it's only, I think, about six pounds or something. Abby herself is wearing like the most beautiful look right now. <laughs> and right as she came into my house, I was like, 
the blend in real life. It's like, you see her on Instagram and you're like, oh wow, that is like phenomenal. But then when you see it in real life, I'm like, how? Today's theme is gonna be how did she do that? <laughs> now, do you do a lot of makeup on uh, others? Cause but, I saw that your yeah. mom is basically Cher. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, she went to a famous. <laughs> so how come you don't believe in primer? Whenever I try it, I feel like it doesn't make a difference on me. Really? Not even in like the wear? No. Like I can literally wear my makeup for like 18 hours and it'll still be on fine. Really? With no setting spray or anything. It's this foundation, whenever I wear it, everyone's like, oh my god, what are you wearing? I love getting my makeup done. Oh my god, I love first dates. It's so good. You said you loved it too, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh my god, me and uh, my boyfriend watch it like every day religiously and whenever it's an episode where there's like actual success and they like become a couple, we're like, love is real! Did you see uh, First Dates Hotel? I've watched a couple of episodes, yeah. Did you see that episode where Fred, the, the like, the guy, the, the French guy, yeah, yeah. where he is like taking his suit off and he goes swimming and he has like the oh most phenomenal body ever and we were watching it and basically when you see Fred, you're like, that's, you know, just... Fred. And he like takes his suit off and he has like totally ripped and we're like, what? I have not seen that episode. You kind of need to watch it. <laughs> I'm going in with the Make oh, Revolution concealer. Mm -hmm. Here, she's using the cult favorite. I actually prefer it to the tart one. Oh. I feel like a lot of people are kind of stepping away from shave tape. Yeah, I find that it comes off a little bit when I set it with powder under my eyes. It but does. Yeah. Me? Makeup? Never. Who inspires you? I really love Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Like his blending is just unreal. I don't know how he does it. Same. A lot of drag artists as well, like Age of Aquaria is one of my favorites. I actually saw her at in show just this past weekend. She's amazing. <laughs> I actually um, got into drag through watching your videos as well. I remember when you did your Pearl transformation. Was yeah. It? Uh huh. Yeah, and I was like, "What is this RuPaul's Drag Race?" And I really? went and watched it, and I've literally just been obsessed since. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, oh, girl, I love this. Oh, look at the. How <laughs> glowy! Literally the softest touch of life. There she is, the P. Louise Louis Bass. <laughs> I use the white one. Which, oh, mm -hmm. okay. Zoeva cream shader brush. This is the 223. Oh, you always apply this with a brush? I just put it down with the brush first and then I go over with a beauty blender just to set it into the skin a little bit more. Wow, even the base is like perfectly blended. <laughs> How does it feel to do everything really well blended in your life? <laughs> like even the, like when I do my base, I'm like, oh, just get it on there. <laughs> and she's like, oh yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so you're going in with the Kylie Valentine's palette. I love the pinks, mm -hmm. the bright pink, mm -hmm. especially. It's so me. Do you think she's pregnant again? Is she? I don't know, she posted baby number two on Instagram and everyone was like <gasps> So we're going in with the colour first date. First date. Let's go first date! Oh my god, yeah. <gasps> and this is on a crown C528 brush. I'm just going in with a bit of powder underneath the eye to catch any fallout. It looks like a little heart. Are you liking the color? I'm loving it. It's how's the, how's it, how's it doing? It's like a neon red, it's so nice. I'm excited to see what you think of the shimmers because mm -hmm. I feel like they're different than... Are you good? Oh, well, I didn't. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna start feathering out the edges with no product on the brush first. Are you completely self-taught? Yeah, I just used to watch YouTube videos oh. from yourself. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go in with the shade Candy Heart, which is the bright pink from the palette, just to diffuse that a little bit. Right. How? <laughs> That edge? Are you kidding me? You did that in like two seconds. And when I do it, I'm like, oh my God, I'm struggling. Mom, 
Mom, why did you give me the gift of running on my outer corner? Oh, I do want to mention to the peeps. Look, there's, there's a lot of cake back in the pan. I'm now going in with February, which is the light pink from the palette. Looks like my backdrop. And just really lightly dusting out the edge. She's barely touching my skin. Dipping back into that red. On a Morphe B16 brush. B16. And I'm gonna go on the lower lash line. Oh, we're looking up. And then I'm going in with Candy Heart again and packing that on the inner corner. Now we're gonna cut the crease with that Zoeva brush we used earlier. So we're going in with Romance, which is this baby pink shimmer. Ooh, Bratz. This song <laughs> has been in my head ever since I filmed my Bratz transformation. It's going on there, but it's not really that reflective. Right? It kind of misses like that. Mm. And now I'm gonna go in with B Mine on the outer portion of the crease. That is looking stunning. Like beautiful. Thank like this you. in and of itself is a look. Oh. A look. <laughs> a look that I can never. Now, what is your vision? I'm thinking I want like pink clouds coming across your face with an angel coming out of them for Valentine's Day. Done. I'm taking the peel of these base again mm -hmm. and we're gonna start stamping out some clouds. How do you know, like how do you know how to like that. Like even this is a look. I can't. <laughs> gonna go in with a tiny little dense fluffy brush and pat out the edge to like blend that out a little bit. For the brows, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> What's it's, that? It's some stickers. <gasps> As it's Valentine's Day, I thought we should Yes, they're holographic. Mm -hmm. See, I feel like in Holland we don't have cute shit like that. You we have, really like, don't. Craft shops and things. We have craft shops, but they're boring. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love the craft shop. I'll just like go and buy everything there. See, that's people from America, people from the UK. They're like, oh, we just go to like a craft shop and get like beautiful brushes there and like beautiful supplies. Yeah, and I'm like, that's where I find all my brushes. Can't relate. Look at that. <clears throat> when is your birthday? July the 27th. Which makes you a... Uh... Aaliyah. Aaliyah? Oh, that's why I love you. Not, everyone hates on Leos. Like... Uh, my mom's a Leo. Oh, <laughs> I wish I had the gift of asking someone's sign and then I could be like, oh. <laughs> they go like, oh, that explains everything. I'm like, <laughs> why? What does it explain? I love Aquarius and Geminis. My boyfriend is an Aquarius. I love him. So we're gonna go in with highlight in a second. You might know it. <laughs> but first I'm just gonna prime for that with the Morphe setting mist. Oh. Should we move on to the angel? Mm. Yes, you always start with dirty. white. Yeah, I feel like drawing it on with the white, you can rub it out really easily, mm. make a mistake. Um, so it's just great for outlines and things. Right now it looks like Superman, do you see? Yeah. <laughs> it does. It's got a little cape on. <laughs> It's just butt crack. So our little friend now has a skin tone. Adding some cream contour. Cream contour. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going in with Admira, which is the dark brown from the palette, and we're going to do some shading to the little angel. What's his name? Fred. Fred. Fred the angel. Fred from first dates. 
as an angel. Oh my god, literally. On my face. Now we're going to go in with some details with the brown from the Meron Paradise Paint Palette. Do you have the big one? The big one? Oh no, I couldn't afford that one. <laughs> really? It's yours. No. It's dirty, but it's yours. No, it's not. It's not Sweetie, big. trust me. I'm not digging into this until Halloween, which is basically a year from now. So please, I hope you don't mind that it's been used, but take it. Do you have any favorite brands? Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah. I love Anastasia. Like the shadows or? Yeah, the shadows, the palettes are my favorite. Really? Yeah, yeah the pigmentation and the consistency. Wow. I really like Morphe as well, mm -hmm. especially the James palette. I really like the formula he snapped. of that. Oh my God, he has eyes. Fred can see now. <laughs> Abby completed Fred and we put some lashes on an O. Oh my god. I'm thinking a combination of these two kits. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna do the pink on the outsides of the lips and the red blended in the center. Oh, love it already. Taking some of the red on the back of my hand, dipping in there with a dense fluffy brush, and we're just gonna tap that on there and blend out from the center. Of the lip. Oh my god! Unreal. Thank you, you are. The Supreme. All right, and now it's time for my side of the face. And to be really honest, I am not excited about doing this because when I look over to my left, this is pure art. And literally anything I'm gonna do to my face right now is gonna be so underwhelming. I'm so sorry in advance. I am just going to dip into foundation. I'm not going in with primer. I kind of want to pay homage to Abby because she didn't prime either. And since she used this right here, I'm also going in with The Ordinary Coverage Foundation in High Coverage Formula. I pick it up on my sponge and I just start tapping it into the skin. Now, I have never heard of The Ordinary. I don't really know what they're all about. This coverage is insane. Bam. For concealer, of course, I'm using my trusty Jouer Chiffon. And to set that, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder in the color Butter, even though Abby didn't set my face, which it still looks stunning, but I need that powder, baby. All right, so I quickly went off camera to finish off the base and do my brow. For primer today, of course, I'm using the P. Louise base, and just like Abby, I'm using the white. Okay, now let's pray that this actually wants to stick. From the palette, I'm first going in with the red, and the red is called First Date. I'm literally just stamping that color onto the lid. Then with a tiny little brush, I'm just gonna buff out and sort of tickle that edge to create a softer transition for the pink. Dipping into that hot neon pink and I'm buffing out that edge. One thing I am noticing that as I am blending out my pink, I feel like the red is really disappearing. Like, do you see that? How where I add the pink, it becomes super intense and bright, 
but see what happens on the lid it kind of like fades away all right going back in with the red and i feel like it's not really popping back onto the lid see how it kind of stays that this looks a bit like transparent time for the grand reveal oh god oh god oh god <gasps> sort of you know as i'm doing this i'm like didn't rocio do this look before she probably has all right like that i think now it's time for the bottom for the bottom i'm kind of just repeating what i did on the top so the red the pink blended out i will say that i'm slightly nervous for this look because i have hooded eyes so when i look straight forward my heart cuts in half so i'm scared that by the end of this video half of my heart is pink but we'll see such an unusual formula that it starts off so pigmented, but then if you mess with it too much, like go in with it too often or just reapply too often, it like completely loses all grip and it just doesn't want to adhere to the, to the skin anymore. And then it just becomes this sort of like transparent. See what's happening on the lid? It kind of becomes transparent. And then you guessed it, blending the pink right in and smoking that out. On the inner corner, I want to use this soft baby pink called Romance. Oh. Oh. Oh, I love that. Okay, Romance as an inner corner highlight, sort of diffused and blown into those pinks and reds is a dream. All right, now I'm quickly gonna apply some lashes off camera, and then I'm gonna spruce this up a bit more with more hearts. It's time to add in some warmth to the face. I am using my Jouer Bronzing Duo. I am taking the blush of the collection, which is called Crush, and a little bit of February, this color right here. I'm mixing the two, and I'm really concentrating that on the high points of the face to add that explosion of love. Oh, I love that color. La 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 la, love that color. I'm also taking that color and kind of applying it towards the temples. For my highlight, I want to use this shade right here called Heart Throb. All right, now I'm gonna scatter some reflective chrome red little hearts around here. For the lips, I'm just gonna repeat what Abby already did because that was my original plan too. So first going in with this lip pencil in the color, you are a gem. All right, then going in with this matte liquid lipstick in the color Wish You Were Here. Applying Call Me on the center. And of course, finishing with the gloss. These are so incredibly glittery. Holy Wrap. And there we have it, my side completed, next to Abby's side. All right, and that's it guys. That is my full face done using the Kylie Cosmetics 2019 Valentine's Day collection. And this is what I would do with the collection, this is what I had in mind, and this side of course is unmatched, is Abby side. Normally, I would ask you to leave a comment down below which side you prefer. Um, I can still ask you that, but I am more than prepared to see the name Abby over, 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 and over, and it's so well deserved because, honey, Fred is alive. So I wanna thank you so, so, so much for watching today's brand new face match video. If you're doing anything in this video, please go find Abby on Instagram. I'll put her link down below. Please go follow her. She is an artist and she deserves all the love she can get. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. And of course, give this video a thumbs up so that I know that I should do more. I think this has been a super, super long day, a super long video with that. So I think it's time to call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one.